The Centers for Disease Control will hold an emergency meeting Friday to discuss the rare cases of heart inflammation that some young people are experiencing after getting the COVID-19 vaccine. D now, despite that risk, experts still say getting the vaccine is important as hospitals see an increase among kids ages 12 to 17. So joining me now is CTO and Medical Director for Triage Logic, Dr. Ravi Rahija. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So what could be some of the factors for this uptick in hospitalizations? We know people want to know this. Yeah, so I think, I don't know if there's a complete clear answer, but there's a lot of variants that are much more contagious and the younger people are not vaccinated. So it would make sense that we're having an increased number of cases in younger people, which would lead to more hospitalizations. There's also some question if some of these new variants are more virulent and more dangerous, absolutely. but that's not been shown yet. Oh, absolutely. So should parents be concerned about heart inflammation? There's only been about 250 cases reported in heart inflammation after the vaccine, after millions of doses. So again, it's always risk versus benefit. We're sitting here today because we're all vaccinated. So the answer is that everybody's going to be looking into it and we have to watch out for it, but nothing that would stop us from getting vaccinated right now. Absolutely. So, you know, as a medical physician, as a professional, what are some other concerns that you're hearing from parents? I think with anything new, the biggest thing is people are reluctant to get vaccines when they're new. So is it the biggest question we get, oh, it's new, we don't know enough about it, or people have the impression that kids don't get sick from COVID. When the chickenpox vaccine came out, people thought, well, it's better to get natural immunity. But the reality is a lot of kids would die from pneumonia and things like that. So again, I think it's a misconception that kids don't get sick and that's where the concerns are coming from. They don't want a vaccine if it's not needed. Absolutely. So what precautions should children under the age of 12 be taking? So keep the standard social distancing and masking right now. And kids are actually really um, good about following instructions. They're given the proper explanation. So if you were to explain to a kid that the vaccine's coming and this is temporary until then to keep you safe, they will follow instructions. Uh, they just need to understand why they have to do what they do and they're great about it. Absolutely, that's encouraging to hear. So when do you expect vaccines to be available to these younger children? So there's a lot of really great progress going on right now. So Moderna just had successful studies and we expect the 12 and above to be approved very soon, probably within the next week or two. And then the six months and above, the studies are going on and we're thinking close to October, it looks like. Um, the ex experts are expecting in the fall. So pretty soon. Absolutely, be here before we know it. So parents, caregivers, if they have any questions or concerns, they should go straight to the source, correct? Well, the best option, there's a lot of nurse lines. So our company and several other hospitals provide nurse lines where they have specialized information about exposure to COVID, if you've had COVID, if you have questions. So if you have access to those nurse lines, those are the best ways to do it. They have all the special tools they need and special training. Absolutely, thank you so much for joining us for that valuable information and keeping everyone safe. Thank you.